Radiance and lushness of uh, Nigeria's federal capital city, Abuja. Some rural communities around the city still live in miserable conditions with little or no access to basic communities. With the current economic situation and rising inflation, residents of Kuruduma community in Nasokoro lament their plight since the petrol subsidy removal. A look into Kuruduma community in Sokoro in the federal capital territory, Abuja, will review the present situation of households in Nigeria. With the rising inflation and economic hardship undergone by Nigerians, a million Nigerians wake up daily having no idea when and where their next meal will come from. Nigeria has the awful distinction of being the world capital of poverty, with 71 million people living in extreme poverty. This is according to the World Poverty Clock 2023. The National Bureau of Statistics also records a total of 133 million people as multidimensionally poor. With the current economic situation, many Nigerians are forced to live in miserable conditions with little or no access to basic amenities. A closer look at the situation in the village showed their poor living conditions, fight for survival, and the deplorable housing conditions. Speaking with Morning Line with Nancy on their plight and conditions, the residents called on the government for immediate intervention. It is, has been hell. Feeding has been hell. Because things are adding money every blessed day. Every blessed day. I go markets. I go to markets yesterday. I couldn't buy. With the money I went there with, I couldn't buy things. It is hell now. In this community now, there are things that Nigerians are supposed to do in this community. The business that we are doing, the business is not working because we are not selling. We buy it and we don't see anything. <clears throat> do you understand? We buy, we don't see anything. But the things is not easier. Like every day things are getting high. If you bought something today, when you went back tomorrow, the thing will increase. Just like we are just praying, let God just help us. Everywhere, like our side now, they have market, demolition is coming. They want to come and demolish that place. So things is not easy for us. Things have not been easy at all at all. Hmm. Just they push and small, small, they go like that. I have, I'm a mother of two children. Even my other baby self, I just withdraw it from school just this year because I have nowhere to go, no business, nothing, nothing. You want to hustle, environmental will just come and be following up and down. So, that is how I withdraw it from school. It's no more longer going to school again. It's staying at home. Things have turned upside down. Things have turned upside down. First of all, you know, a family, a family that cannot feed them, they are themselves. They are in trouble. It, that kind of thing, it brings a lot of things. It spoils many things in the country. In fact, my dear sister, it's just God. It's God. Because to me, I'm not a farmer. The little cash I have cannot even feed us. We are just managing. The type of food that I cannot be able to eat before is what I'm just pushing myself to eat it. That is why I mentioned God, because if not God, it will cause me another problem. Personally, I will say uh, Nigeria is in a state where I would describe it as a, we have no independent, because ideally if we have independent, it will be better than the way we are now. Because you look at the increase of the fuel, you have everything in the market has increased. You, you heard somebody who works on air like 40,000 area cannot survive. A lot of people have quit their jobs because they have no transport to go to work or come back. At the end, when they give them the money, it cannot buy. People are living in abject poverty. In this area that you see, a lot of people even to feed is the problem. So if the government could do something about it, our problem in this country is not just uh, increasing up work. Other things 
tackle the poverty fault, tackle the insecurity in the country. If there's security in the country, people will go back to farm and things will be more cheaper. Besides highlighting the contributing factor to hunger, with little measures taken in addressing these issues, it is therefore pertinent for Nigeria to design a simple and sustainable poverty eradication model for the country's overall progress. Norma Omeje for Morning Line with 